Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte OC Guru 2 utility in combination with the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GeForce GTX 960 graphics card. Now I've already fooled around with the settings and I pretty much know what this card is capable of and is going to be overclocked to, so I've saved that to Profile 2 and I will show you that in a bit. But first let's go over the utility a little bit in case you're unfamiliar with it. First we've got our monitoring here and then our GPU clock, base and boost displayed. You've got two ways to adjust it. Click the arrows up and down or you can type in it. However, you do have to click the arrow to get it to actually take with the number that you click uh, that you've typed in. You also have your memory clock speed, you can adjust that the same way. You've got your fan speed. This happens to be reading 22%, though the card's fans are actually off right now because this does have silent fans when it's under a certain temperature and wattage being used. And of course, right now it's idle. The core voltage can be adjusted here as well. You can enable the over voltage and adjust it the same way as the GPU clock and memory. You've also got your target power and target temperature. So your power you can set up to a hundred and thirty five percent on this card and you've got a couple other things you can do you can link the power and temperature together and you can also prioritize the GPU temp so basically what that's going to do is the card is going to try to hit the power threshold as or the temperature threshold and basically the prioritizing of the temperature would mean that it would try to it would hit the temperature and if it hit the temperature it wouldn't try to go any further with the power um, you also have online support here and on screen display or OSD the hotkey is displayed as well as the location of the on screen display so the on screen display can also be changed the location you do have to enable it here and you can also change the hotkey the screenshot key and also the location that the screenshots are saved to. Under here you also have some screen settings. You can enable this and adjust the brightness, contrast, and gamma. Of course most of us can do that with our monitors as well. Under resolution we've got our current resolution and our refresh rate displayed. Under settings you can adjust the resolution, the color depth, and the frequency as well as do display overclocking which means you're trying to get it to run faster than the refresh rate it's rated for. I personally wouldn't recommend it but you certainly can try it if you'd like. Um, take no responsibility for that one. <laughs> Under fan you have settings for manual where you can set a manual fan curve and also auto. We're gonna leave it on auto for our purposes here. And then under monitoring you have more more brings up a graph bunch of graphs for the GPU clock memory clock voltage power consumption fan speed and temperature now the cool thing about this is you can actually record the data that's been coming into this utility by pressing this round button here or pause it so if you're trying to hit certain things try to figure out what's going on you can hit record here and it'll go to a file now under the wrench is the settings for this you can uncheck certain things so that it only shows those on the monitoring panel and you can also change the location that the recorded files save to. If you make any changes in here you do have to hit save and if you make any changes that you don't didn't want to make you can hit default and it's going to go back to the default. Of course we can hit this little arrow again to go back to the monitoring. Of course on either of these windows you have your help icon, you have a minimize and also to close it. Alright everyone, now that we've taken a look at the utility and what it is uh, able to do and show you, let's actually put an overclock on this card and what we're going to see here is I've gone to profile 2 and the only thing that we've really changed here is the GPU clock speeds um, and we've gone 100 and plus 104 over what the factory overclock is and saved that to profile 2. Now what you're going to notice, and as you can see by this graph, it actually boosts up quite a bit from that. And what we're going to do here is run Unigen Heaven in windowed mode. 
gonna take a few seconds for this to load. I'm gonna start the benchmark and I'm gonna show you the um, show you the monitoring for the OC Guru so that you can see what it boosts to. You can actually see there that the GPU clock is boosting all the way up to 1559 on this card and the power consumption because this does have the extra six pin power connector is only hitting 65 66 percent of the potential power that the card could have pulled um, fan speeds are also relatively low only coming in at 22 percent and temperatures you will steadily climb up a little bit but i haven't really seen them hit over hit over 59 to 60 degrees on this car at all so that three fan cooling solution works very well for um, keeping this nice and cool what I'm going to do now actually though is stop the recording because there's no reason to show six minutes of Unigen Heaven benchmarking since it's quite a long benchmark then I'm going to pull up the result at the end just so that you can see what we're able to get that result is a little bit lower than our benchmark tests that we run because it is running in windowed mode so you lose just a little bit of performance because of that so without further ado let's stop this and then I will show you the results alright so here we have the Unigen Heaven benchmark complete and as you can see we got 41.6 frames per second and the card with a 104 boost ran at a steady 1559 megahertz on the GPU clock um, power consumption definitely was up and down between 58 and 70 percent and then the GPU temperature never really went over 60 degrees so they've definitely got a good cooling solution on this card and we're able to get a little bit more out of it than what the factory has offered and so that's really cool especially considering the gauntlet cherry picking process of their GPUs and also the extra cooling potential that they have on their custom cooler. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative to you, especially if you've never used the OC Guru 2 utility. And definitely please check out the full review at www.hitechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.